morning everyone myself is girish riyas assistant professor department of mechanical engineering cambridge institute of technology kr puram bangalore uh, we will go for typical arrangement of uh, roller for rolling mills you see there are different uh, uh, setup you can see in the diagram so two i mill uh, pull over so first one is a uh, two roller setup So here you will be having a roller. In order to reduce the thickness of the slab, it will pass through the roller. And in further, if you want to reduce the thickness, again uh, it will take it back into the entry of the roller and it will feed through the roller by reducing the gap. Now, while you passing through the second time, uh, because it is already reduced into the initial gap of the roller. Further, if you want to reduce the thickness, here in two I mill roller, so you have to. Uh, bring roller close together so that you can pass for the second time okay so here first one is 2i mill pull over so here two rollers will be used it will be rotating then one is 2i uh, mill reversing type here roller is arranged uh, in such a way that uh, it can uh, rotate in clockwise as well as static uh, clockwise Manually, you need not to take the uh, uh, slab from the exit, and you will feed from the entry. Okay, it will be reversing type. Once the slab passes from the uh, entry to the exit, the roller will change the direction of rotation. Again, it will uh, suppose in the first stage, if the slab will pass from left to right uh, because of the Clockwise rotation, uh, sorry, anti-clockwise rotation of the roller slab will come to the right side. So once it comes to the rotate clockwise, so that repeatedly uh, will reduce, uh, reduce the distance. Uh, thickness will be reduced to the maximum extent by reversing the workpiece material uh, through uh, changing the direction of rotation of roller. Is it in two I mill pull over manually? You will pull the material from the exit of the roller. So then you will feed into the entry of the roller. So when you are feeding for the second time, the gap between the roller will be minimized so that further reduction of the slab will take place. Okay. Here in reversing type, what happens? The roller is uh, uh, arranged in such a way that it will rotate in both the direction, clockwise as well as anti-clockwise. When the roller is rotating anti-clockwise, the slab will come from left side to right side. Uh, again, once it comes to the other end of the uh, other end completely, so then uh, rotation of the roller will be reversed into the clockwise direction, so that uh, uh, the slab will uh, go from right to left. When it is going for the second time, again you will apply more pressure on the roller so that thickness will be reduced. Okay, this is about two I mill pull lever and two I mill reversing. Next one is three I mill. Here, three I mill. It is having a uh, three rollers, as the name only suggests. Three I mill. It is having three rollers. Uh, in the bottom roller, you see, in the bottom two roller, you passing the metal. So, in the bottom roller, more gap is maintained so that uh, the reduction of thickness will be take place. Okay, compared to the top roller where gap is less, primarily you feed the slab. Uh, into the bottom roller, and it will take back uh, uh, from the manual or uh, from the machine interface. It will take back the uh, slab from the exit, and it will feed to the top roller. Okay, the, thereby uh, reduction of thickness will be take place in the bottom two roller. The gap is more compared to top two roller. Gap is less, so further reduction of thickness will take place. Okay, next one is four I mill. Here in four I mill, so you can see here. So there are larger, smaller diameter roll, uh, less strength and rigidity are supported by larger diameter backup roll. Okay, you will be having larger diameter backup roll. The smaller roll will be provided. Here, uh, actually larger rolls act as a supporting roller. So the uh, Pressure will be supplied by the smaller roller. So for reducing a smaller thickness, okay. Here, 
you can reduce the smaller thickness uh, for uh, obtaining a, a sheet or strips so it is used okay strips is uh, less than sheet metal okay having only 1 mm or 2 mm thickness for producing that kind of material a 4i mill is used okay here a smaller roller will be uh, under uh, uh, it will apply direct compression load on the slab where uh, the larger roller act as a supporting okay next one is a cluster roller mill or sensimer mill here each of the work roll is supported by two backing roll okay here you see so the actual working roll it is connected to the slab it is supported by two backing rolls again each backing roll okay it is supported by two backing roll like that on one side itself we have six roller okay but uh, different in diameter okay so it will be having uh, six so totally six larger diameter uh, roller four uh, medium diameter roller and two smaller diameter roller actual deformation taking place by small you know the rigid roller okay and uh, the back of roller is acted as a supporting roller okay where if you want to apply maximum load in order to reduce this kind of supporting roller will be used it is also referred as cluster mill okay so it will be having backup roller for each roller will be having two backup roller like that three series of roller will be provided if you use the smaller roller friction between the workpiece and the roller can be minimized so that uh, the uh, power loss due to friction will be minimized a larger uh, roller arc of contact will be more if you take the uh, length of arc of contact between the work piece and the roller we term it as uh, uh, angle of bite we call it as angle of bite angle of bite is uh, angle between the entry of the roller to the center of the roller okay angle of bite will be more in the uh, exit uh, uh, larger roller thereby frictional force will be more in larger roller friction is used to pull the material into the entry uh, uh, into the entry of the roller initially further friction will uh, uh, having disadvantages it will uh, uh, do the la last of power due to friction will be take place instead of uh, flowing into the forward direction frictional force acting opposite to the flow of material so, uh, so little power will be lost due to friction and also due to friction the surface finish is also not good for finishing uh, for pass in order to reduce a uh, uh, larger reduction in thickness you see when you are operating with the larger uh, roller the reduction is only uh, 50% you can reduce say 4m 10mm to 5mm you can reduce but if you use small smaller roller where arc length will be less and you can do uh, reduction more reduction from 10 mm to 2 mm directly you can reduce okay power loss to friction power loss due to friction will be minimized by using smaller roller the next one is a uh, uh, continuous rolling rolling or tandem tandem rolling mill so here you see you will be having a supporting roller uh, for all the small roller the larger what we see it is a coil in auto uh, in the left side it is feeding coil uh, a slab will be feed it is a roller it will feed the material into the uh, stand one okay each rolling setup is termed as a stand one stand two stand three stand four uh, you will be having wind up rail where sheet metal is coming up or strip will be coming up uh, at the exit of uh, four stand and it will be rolled into the winding reel each setup is called as stand uh, the strip will be moving at different velocity at each stage in the mill as i told you uh, because of uh, thickness difference uh, uh, the velocity of uh, uh, each stand will be different okay the velocity uh, for example the exit velocity of stand 1 is equal to entry velocity of stand 2 like that you have to maintain the exit ve velocity of the stand 1 is equal to entry velocity of stand 2 similarly 
the entry velocity of the stand 2 is equal to exit velocity of the stand 1 the exit velocity of the one particular roller is equal to entry velocity of the following roller or entry velocity of the particular roller is equal to exit velocity of the presiding roller for example if you take 2 and 3 the exit velocity of the stand 2 roller is equal to entry velocity of the stand 3 roller so you have to maintain a speed in synchronous level if the speed is synchronized then only a smooth operation of uh, uh, rolling uh, will be take place if it is not uh, synchronized so the setup will get damaged because of any one uh, dynamic forces okay uh, because of compression forces between the uh, flowing of metal so the the, the setup will be uh, damaged okay so here the third point you see the speed of each set of roll is synchronized so that the input speed of each stand is equal to output speed of presiding stand okay that has to be maintained the you see uh, you have two types of tension comes in uh, roller okay back tension and front tension here you see the uncoiler and wind up wheel not only feed the stock into the rolls and uh, coiling of the finer product but also provide back tension and front tension so front tension is useful in order to flow the metal into the roll okay you have to push the metal into the roll so once the uh, at starting the metal has to be engaged with the roller once it is engaged to the roller due to friction it will take the metal inside okay before that you have to maintain a back tension regarded as sigma b back tension should be maintained similarly to take off the roll at the exit front tension will be maintained the wind up reel will maintain the front tension and coiler the feeding roll will maintain the back tension so here what you will be having a series of stand the roller having smaller roller supported by larger roller the whatever you see uncoiler and wind up uh, reel it is just for supplying of the uh, slab and take the product uh, and wind into the round wheel okay for that a large uh, winding up reel and uncoiler will be used so stand here uh, they only shown four stand it may be uh, so many stand depending upon reduction of thickness between uh, suppose if you go from uh, stand 1 to stand 4 the gap between the stand will be minimized from left to right okay so stand 1 will be having more gap compared to stand 2 similarly stand 3 is having more gap compared to stand 2 so similarly it will continue stand 4 is having uh, less gap compared to stand 1 stand 2 and stand 3 okay following stand will be having smaller gap component compared to preceding stand okay like that you will maintain so that every stage reduction of slab will take place see uh, as you, you can clearly see in the diagram itself so in each stand the gap will be minimized so that uh, uh, initially you are supplying a slab and finally you will getting the strip okay or sheet metal so here you see planetary mill. The planetary mill is having a backing row. It will be having smaller, smaller. Here also uh, it will minimize the arc of contact and uh, more uh, uh, force will be acting on, acted by each of the planetary rolls. So here a uh, greater reduction can be achieved. You can see the diagram from slab to a thin line strip you can produce by using planetary roll. Okay, planetary roll means you will be having banking roll. On the circumference of banking roll, a planetary roll of smaller diameter will be provided. Okay, actual uh, reduction will take place due to compression of uh, compression by the planetary roll. Here you see, consider a pair of heavy banking rolls surrounded by a large number of planetary rolls. Each planetary rolls give an almost constant reduction to the slab. As it sweeps out of the circular path between the backing rolls and slab, okay, each planetary roll gives almost a constant reduction to the slab. As each pair of planetary rolls 
teach us to have a contact with the work piece another pair of uh, role make contact and repeat the reduction okay but it will work slowly uh, it will slowly uh, the work piece material will slowly come out of the material in order to reduce uh, the larger dam larger thickness to smaller strip all the rolls will be apply the force onto the slab so that reduction will be maximum reduction will be achieved the overall reduction uh, is the summation of the series of small reduction by each pair of roll therefore planetary mill uh, can hard uh, reduce the slab directly to strip in one pass through the mill okay you see in a previous sketch you see you required a, a tandem mill in order to reduce slab into uh, strip by using normal uh, stand mills uh, by using normal four four mill setup you, you you required continuous rolling setup that larger space also required compared to this here also slab to strip you are reducing the work piece following figure shows planetary mills in order to reduce uh, slab to slip even in one pass itself you can reduce okay the overall reduction is the summation of the series of small reduction for each pair of the roll therefore planetary mill can hard reduce the slab directly into strip in planetary mill slab can be directly reduced into strip by one pass itself okay but the first uh, roller coming into contact okay and the tangential uh, face of the work piece all the small roll planetary rolls comes uh, uh, to the same place and compress okay it will say it will squeeze it into smaller thickness okay by all the planetary roll it will squeeze it into smaller thickness the rolling mills you can see here uh, some of the planetary rolling mills okay we already uh, discussed this is cluster mill see the side view of the uh, rolling mill in the bottom it is shown the side view uh, the side view okay of a uh, four i mill the roller will be uh, this is uh, the right side uh, top diagram shows the roller a typical roller structure it will be uh, fixed into the uh, bearing uh, uh, motor so that it will rotate with the uh, required speed usually the manufacturing of uh, uh sheet metal or strips uh, will be through continuous casting process here uh, uh, as you know continuous casting uh, the from the uh, furnace you heat the metal into a liquid state then poured into ladle uh, below the ladle will be having mold so the metal is coming out of the mold through a rectangular shape okay uh, at the bottom of the mold will be having uh, water cooling water cooling uh, once it uh, cooled down it will uh, the liquid molten metal is converted into semi solid it will be having guide uh, roller it will supply the metal at the exit of guide roller the metal is completely uh, solidified into uh, complete solid okay so then it will you will feed that uh, you are going to cut for required uh, length and you will feed into the seeking pit okay yellow color box you have so there a heating chamber will be there for further uh, to induce the annealing uh, to induce the ductility in the material okay the these are uh, cutting into bloom uh, bloom the thickness okay then it is further uh, passed through the blooming mill where uh, the reduction of the thickness will take place bloom uh, bloom will convert into billet again billet will pass through the roughing mill so their billet will be converted into uh, a slab, slab of small thickness uh, that slab will be passed through the series of roller you see uh, 
uh, once a roughing mill uh, it will uh, turn into the series of roller where uh, the slab say slab of having a 40 or 50 mm thickness is reduced into sheet at the end of all the series of roller it will reduce into 2 mm or uh, uh, 3 mm thickness and it will be winded into the roller and you see the coil of the hot rolled steel will be winded onto the uh, circular okay you see in the highway uh, the transportation of this coil of uh, sheet uh, it is having huge weight a uh, one uh, truck will carry uh, one or two this kind of reels uh, you see uh, this setup is there in uh, rolling industry especially sheet manufacturing industry so the steel uh, sheets are manufactured in uh, ballari thorangal jsw steel we have this setup uh, it is having 400 meter uh, length uh, uh, unit okay a continuous casting unit it will be extended linearly extended to 400 meter length right from the casting to produce a, a sheet of uh, 2 mm or 1.5 mm thickness and it will carry out by continuous uh, casting process in between the roller uh, to gain the uh, ductility back a heating chamber will be kept so that uh, the annealing heat treatment will be carried out and you will get the uh, ductility back and further reduction by stages uh, will be take place okay and slab will be reduced into sheet 